Now, here is what the Maldives gets wrong. You cannot grow your economy by betting on a few big players. Growth requires opening up. Case in point, India. It is on the verge of sealing a major trade deal. India could get $100 billion in investment from Europe. And the deal could be signed by April. Discussions are in the final stage, and this proposed agreement with Europe stands out for multiple reasons. Typically, in a classic trade deal, countries remove trade barriers by reducing taxes. This tends to boost import and export. But what India is negotiating with Europe is different. Under this deal, New Delhi is willing to open up its markets, but at a price tag of $100 billion. This money will flow in the form of investments, and this will happen over a period of 15 years. The pact guarantees this investment. And that's a rare feature. Trade deals rarely come with a binding clause on investments. And where is this money coming from? A special block of European nations, four countries are part of it, Norway, Iceland, Liechtenstein, and Switzerland. Together they're called the EFTA, the European Free Trade Association. Currently, it's this block that is negotiating with India, not the entire European Union, just this block. But this block could set a template for the future, something that the rest of the region could choose to replicate. Next question. What kind of investments are they eyeing? And where will this, will this $100 billion go? For now, one area has been identified, new and existing manufacturing projects. They could be state-run entities or private players. This investment has the potential to generate over 1 million jobs. But for India, the benefits of this deal go beyond the money and the jobs. For instance, more visas are on offer. If the deal goes through, Indian professionals could get easy access to these four countries, Norway, Iceland, Liechtenstein and Switzerland. And what do these countries get in return? What's, what's in it for them? Like I said, they're looking for market access. They want to sell a range of products in India. Look at this list. Processed food and beverages, electrical machinery, engineering products, also pharmaceutical and medical devices. With this trade deal, they'll be able to sell all these products and more, most likely at reduced tariffs. Obviously, we'll have to wait for the fine print. But on first impressions, this deal has big benefits for both sides. And the agreement has been in the making for a long time. In fact, the conversation started way back in 2008. So it has taken some 16 years for India and the EFTA, this European bloc, to finalize a deal. And it hasn't been signed yet. The European side wants to sign the pact before the general election in India. But is New Delhi on the same page? Reports say the outline of the deal was locked last month. There is an agreement on pressing and controversial issues like patent protection. They've all been sorted. They just have to tie some loose ends because New Delhi too would like to lock this up soon. In fact, this is not the only trade pact in the pipeline. Reports say India is holding discussions with as many as 50 countries, 5-0. These talks are happening both at the bilateral level and the block level. It remains to be seen how many of these conversations lead to actual agreements. But one thing is quite clear. India is sending a signal to the world. India is open for business.